You know, I grew up with this funny saying. They used to tease each other as uh, we were young. They will always, let me try to interpret it in, uh, in English so you know what I'm saying. They will make a joke whenever the boys are teasing one another. They will be like, ah, oh, your granny out of jealous. He, seeing that their neighbor, his neighbor, he bought a car out of jealousy. He took his own car or he took himself and he just drove himself inside the river so that he could die because he could not bear seeing his neighbor having a car, you know? So, you know, as I'm growing, I'm going to realize as you learn, as you grow, some of those things, they begin to ring. But okay, these things, they've been there from the beginning. Jealousy. Someone can bear jealousy. Someone is depressed. Someone is frustrated. All due to jealousy. That's why in the commandments, one of the commandments, it was don't desire your brethren's positions because it results in jealousy. And with this being said, there is someone that is crying silently due to your success, due to your good. Oh my God. Listen, I'm not trying to give you, this is the reality. And I'm saying this and I'm giving you this weight so that you are aware and sometimes you don't relax too much over such individuals because they are the ones who are responsible for sometimes when you hear that someone got poisoned. They are kids. It's because of the people that are jealous. They don't like you. And they still, they are just pretending. And you can see, but you force yourself into their cycle. You force yourself to trust them. And the result, the enemy end up entering them to a point where they take action. But I pray in Jesus' mighty name, may you be smart. May you, know, you not hate anybody, but may you be smart. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray for you right now. Amen. My details are on the comment section below. See you next time.